An animal cruelty case that has generated a great deal of interest online. According to the Baltimore County Police Department, more than 15,000 emails were received in reference to the investigation of animal cruelty after a neighbor that lives a few doors down was caught on camera throwing rocks at a cat in a neighborhood in Owings Mills. WMAR 2 News' Ashley McDowell takes us there to show us the cat is healing and now the owners want justice. It's been a long road to recovery for Grayson, a one-year-old furry companion to a family that lives in Owings Mills. Now the family can take a deep breath as the Baltimore County Police Department arrested 37-year-old Joseph Alunwa on the charge of animal cruelty. Sitting in his favorite spot, looking out the window, is something Linda Smithery, whose daughter owns the cat, didn't think was going to happen again after an incident back in May. He's not gonna be the way he was before. He has permanent damage. A neighbor's ring video shows someone who lives a few houses down walk in front of Linda's home and throw rocks under a parked car. After he threw the rocks, Grayson was sitting right there um, on that little curb. Blood was just pouring out of his eyes. He couldn't move. Grayson had a broken jaw, both eye sockets busted, and needed a feeding tube. Almost two months later, his jaw is still not straight, and he's blind in his left eye. He can eat again on his own, one step in this day-by-day -day recovery. Um, dental surgeon told us that they have to remove all his teeth so that he could close his mouth, and I was concerned about how he would be able to eat after that. And the surgeon told us that cats do not need teeth to eat. Linda said they've never spoken to these neighbors. The nonprofit In Defense of Animals got word of what happened. They are an international animal advocacy that started a petition saying the charges filed aren't strong enough. So far, they have over 10,000 supporters. They were very upset because they had sent information, written information to the police department, contacted the police department, and felt like they weren't getting any answers. As for now, Linda and her daughter are trying to raise funds through a GoFundMe to pay for Grayson's surgery. In Owings Mills, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.